What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Jed Finds. In this episode we're going to be doing some adventure lobbying. We're super duper excited so let's sit back, relax, let's, let's find. find. Yeah. I love the sound of the birds. Okay guys, so we're gonna be doing some adventure lobbying today. We are at Presque Isle in Erie, Pennsylvania. Absolutely beautiful day. And this first one that we're looking for is called The Feather. And The Feather is a wonderful viewing platform which was a one-of-a-kind art project at the Erie Art Museum designed by environmental artists Angelo Sito. It is a wonderful place to linger with a camera, binoculars, and watch a bird world come and visit you. And guys, funny fact about this, about five or seven years ago, a tornado actually came through and they had to rebuild it. So I'm super duper excited to see what the heck this thing is. So let's get it. Okay guys, we got to the spot and I just absolutely love this app because you learn so much stuff here. It says birds can become aggressive when nesting. Red winged black blackbirds are nesting in this area. So it kind of shows you what male and female look like. So we're already learning a lot and we're further, we're right about there to answer the question. So we're gonna get a little further up and then we're gonna answer the question. I've never been up here. Me either, we should go. Here, let's lock up this first. Let's check this out. This is beautiful. It is. Okay guys, so we are close enough to answer the question. It says, what is the name of the artist who designed the feather? And the feather is the name of this little outlook. So we're gonna go ahead and read that board over there and see if it gives us a name. Okay guys, I'm not gonna read all of this here, but um, it kind of gives you some information on the outlook. And the last name, Kaladi right there. So we're gonna type that in and see if that's it. Okay, so it wants to know the artist who designed the feather here. And it says right here, the name Angelo Salati, and it wants the last name. So I'm gonna type that in. C I O T T I submit correct woo all right so now we just need to answer four more and then we're good to go look at how it looked originally yeah that was before the tornado hit guys and that's it now yep a tornado literally came through here and like wiped out half of it and they had to rebuild like the entire thing <laughs> All right, cool. We're going to get back to the Jetmobile and get to the next location. The next one we're going to is called Presque Isle Water... Waterworks, I think? Yeah. And there's like a little lighthouse. It's a cool area. I've actually done some magnet fishing here before. So it'll be cool to revisit the spot for you guys who are OG the Jed Finds and I've watched like, I don't know, like a year ago. Okay guys, so during the early 1900s with the expectation of a rough bridal path, and two walking paths. The main access to Presque Isle was via boat and there were several ferry slips at numerous locations during the peninsula. As improvements were being made to the facilities on Presque Isle, it was decided to erect an emergency water intake on the bay side of the peninsula which was incorporated into the ferry boat slip. To provide a pump to this emergency intake in 1906, a short steel tower was constructed at the end of the ferry slip at house gears which would drive up the pump although it was made to look like a lighthouse the tower never housed the light or had electric run in it today many people always think that it's called a lighthouse so that's pretty cool so now we're going to get close enough so we can answer the question and we're going to be good to go okay guys so there's the tower how does it feel <laughs> so here's the tower and the question is what disease broke out when they were constructing the tower so I'm assuming it's going to be on um, that board all the way there or here or there's going to be some kind of history on it. So we're going to go ahead and when we get the answer to that, we're going to answer it on up. And there's the beautiful water, guys. All right, guys, we're going to try to find the answer. Hopefully we don't get attacked by geese, but one can only hope so much. They're eyeing him up. They don't like you. Easy. <laughs> We're trying to find out what disease broke out. Typhoid fever. Typhoid fever. She got it first. Okay, let's type it up. T Y P H O I D. Fever. 
This is what it looked like. It says incorrect. Did I spell it wrong? Maybe. Maybe it's just typhoid. No, typhoid Submit. fever is the name of it. Yep, that was it. Yes. Continue. Woohoo! No, I took out fever. Oh. They didn't want fever. So yeah, guys, it was just typhoid, but uh, that sucks for them. That sounds pretty awful. But we've got two and we've only got three more to go. So I'm super duper excited. We'll throw you guys on when we get to the next location. All right, guys, and you can just barely see the city there on the other side of the lake. And um, I've done some magnet fishing here before. What is going on here? They cut something. I thought they were all going to start running. Okay, guys, we're making a little detour here. Um, we're at a spot where you can take a little mini pedal boat on the lake and you can rent some bikes and stuff. So we're going to get some brochures to see how much everything costs for a future Jed Finds video. You can go in that lake with the boat. You can get these double carts. They've got bikes. So that's just some fun summer activity th stuff that we can plan. Um, now we're going to check it out real quick. Okay guys, the one I'm really excited to do for a future Jed Finds episode is the aqua cycle. Take it on the water, that would be a lot of fun. And there are the little aqua cycle boats right there. That would be super fun to just sit down here and just kind of coast and groove on along. Maybe I'll even bring my magnet and do some magnet fishing there. That would be a lot of fun. Alright guys, time to get back into the adventure lab. We got all these brochures too. Okay guys, next up location we're going to is Perry Monument. It's about a seven minute drive, so we're just gonna sit back and enjoy some scenery for a little bit and throw you guys on when we get there. Well, that's I think the cystic fibrosis walk. That started that started when we were over by the lighthouse. Now look how far they've gotten. That's awesome. They've gotten really far in such a short amount of time. Check out what I just parked next to. That's awesome. Well, get them go. Imagine how cool they must feel. Okay, guys, for this one, it says the Perry Monument is a 101 foot tall structure located at the eastern end of Presque Isle, standing next to Misery Bay, named by the men of Perry's Naval Square Dawn, who withered here from 1813 to 1814 after the crucial Battle of Lake Erie in September of 1813. So that was a long time ago. Okay guys, last paragraph. The monument is dedicated to comrade Oliver Hazard Perry, who was prominent naval squirt on leading during world, the War of 1812. Oliver Hazard Perry, along with Presque Isle, played a vital role in the victory over British in the war. Perry strategic, strategically used the peninsula's bay as natural protection for his men and a place to construct six to nine of all ships and his fleet. Using this location would force the enemy to travel all the way to the peninsula, leaving the enemy vulnerable. That's super smart. I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of that so you guys can read it with me because I butchered that. I told him to drink some water. <laughs> okay, what is the name of the construction company who erected this monument? So it's probably going to be on the actual tower. So we're going to walk up to the tower and find it out. Okay guys, and there's the Perry Monument in all of its glory. Erected by the Continental Construction Company of Erie. So that is the answer. Tasha found that, so we're gonna go ahead, type it up, make sure it's good. And we'll only have two more to find, guys. We're learning a lot. Okay guys, I hit Continental. Woo! Perry Monument, you got it. Now on to the North Pier Lighthouse. Sweet! And if you guys ever want to know what 101 feet looks like, there it is. Big old boy. All right, goodbye, Perry Monument. Danger, keep off sand pile. You can't tell me what to do. Nah, I don't want to get sand in my shoes. That's a big old sand pile. Okay, guys, I walked the wrong way, but that's the lighthouse we got to get to, so I'll throw you guys on when we get to it. And we've got Paw Patrol's head right there. That's creepy. What do you do if I just jump down? Cry. Really? Because I can't swim. How many round windows are on the lighthouse? On the body of the lighthouse. 
So let's go, we're gonna go up a little further and we're gonna count them and we're gonna find out how many windows are on this lighthouse. Hey guys, so the question is how many windows are on the body of the lighthouse, circle windows. So we've got one right there, one, two, three, four, question mark? So far we've got four. Five, six. Let's see here. Excuse me. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, maybe it's nine. Let's see. Okay, so I tried nine. Wrong. Okay, what the heck? Okay, her guess is seven. It would be uneven. Ah, incorrect. Okay guys, so we're going to try 14 because we think that there were some windows that we missed on the very top. Incorrect! Okay guys, so sometimes the app is just wrong. Um, I tried clicking out of the app, clicking out of it. Um, I tried numbers all the way 1 to 25 and there's definitely not 25 windows on here. So it kept on telling me I had the wrong answer. Um, there's definitely not 25 there, so there's something wrong with the app. But I'm going to just go on to the next location all right guys we're a little bummed out that that one glitched out but that's all right we've got one more to find i'm super duper excited to see what the heck it is i still have no idea what it is but i'm sure we're gonna find out here in a couple seconds okay guys so unfortunately it glitched out and wouldn't let us answer it and it won't let us go to the last one so um i guess that's gonna be it for the adventure lab um i've noticed that it can glitch out a little bit here and there but you know we had a lot of fun today you know it was a good time um, we're gonna go ahead and get some Sarah's now and enjoy some ice cream and maybe a little, maybe a little sandwich or something. So uh, I'm sure we'll end up filming that. So don't leave just yet. All right, guys, I ate most of it. I had some chicken tenders. She had a burger. We didn't go to Sarah's. It was too packed. <laughs> 